No, we are live. We are live already. Yes, sir. We are ready. Alive. So, for me, like usual, a very, very great pleasure in seeing all our friends, colleagues, and passionate food lovers from India and all around the world. As like in the previous sessions, what we did today, the World Milk Day, something really unique. And definitely, as we all know, since childhood, milk in all variations is very important. Uh, milk definitely is a very perishable good. And it's not that easy that the entire world population has been served with milk because we know how I so would say sometimes difficult it is from country to country, from region to region, due to the fauna and vegetation that there are not so many animals. But today, as I have been asked by Amul, like usual, do something special for you. We are doing something, I would say, a little bit unique and a little bit different. Today, we will make with the Amul golden milk, a milk soup which we are starching with potatoes. We have some very nice assorted mushrooms with it. We are topping it up with a little bit of pumpkin seeds oil, which comes from my region. You can see a lot of ingredients which we prepared for you. And today I have my very good friend with me. His name is Ramadan. Ramadan is working with me in different occasions and he will assist a little bit today. So I have a little bit time to talk. So what we are going to do, first of all, we prepared and we peeled some potatoes. We will actually take the potatoes in pot with water and milk. And we are trying to make this a very, very nice and homogen, I so would say, consistency. We are cutting actually the potatoes in small pieces like that. Ramadan will continue doing that for us. Okay, so like this. And then we are putting it in a preheated pot with a little bit of water and a little bit of milk. So Ramadan will cut us the rest of the potatoes. We take them in here. As you can see, there is only some water inside where we are blanching actually the potatoes a little bit with. What we are adding into the, into the water is definitely a little bit of salt to get some seasoning inside. We are taking, and this is my special thing, a little bit curry masala. As we are working for Amul and with Amul together. I have a nice seasoning mix for you as well, which we are putting in the water because we want to have the flavors, the original flavors from the beginning in the potatoes. So it's not just we are blanching something. No, we are doing it directly very, very nice with the aromatic flavors which we need. I have here a little bit basil. We take a little bit dry inside to make it a little bit tasty a little bit of rock salt and a dash of crushed chili. Now, this will be continuing cooking for us. And while we are doing this, we prepare a little bit for our garnish. Our garnish definitely today will be a carrot kunafa straw, which you all know, kunafa are especially in the Arabic world, Turkish side, Middle Eastern cuisine. Very, very nice to have. A lot of sweets are prepared with it, but we will use them today as a garnish for our soup. In addition to this, I peeled some carrots. You can see that. And the carrots, they will be cut in very, very nice strips. And I will give this to Ramadan as well. Ramadan will do that. I will just show you a little bit how to do that. So we cut them in very, very thin slices you can see that here very fine and very thin okay something like this and then we will cut them the same way in small 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 strips now i used a sewing knife which a super professional chef would say why he's using a sewing knife because this should be made for bread but we are cutting the carrots ourselves very small and fine so you can see it looks really amazing and at the end, it gives you an equal cut. That's really important. So Ramadan, you will cut me a little bit more of this while I'm doing some other thing. So.
What we are doing at the same time, when our potatoes are boiling, we are cutting as well, similar, a little bit of celeriac. Celeriac has a very, very intense flavor. And this intense flavor we are using actually to enrich our milk soup with a very base, which is down to earth. You can see that we cut it in small strips and in small slices and small cubes at the end, which will make us a very, very nice flavor when we are putting it into our soup. Here you can see we have some fantastic mushrooms. They are very nice, they are really shiny, something really cool on top when we saute them with a little bit onions. And at the same time here, we have some schmacy, schmay mushrooms, which are a very nice add-on when we are doing our now, what we are doing here now, we have the potatoes, as you can see. We add some while it's boiling of our magic milk from the golden milk. And we just let it use and boil. Important are the flavors, as you can see, and this is where we are coming from. At the same time, definitely, I, you can see, I already prepared a little bit pre-cooked potatoes that they are already a little bit more soft. And we will do exactly the same here. So to have a little bit faster time with the potatoes. So we have our milk here. And additionally to this, to this really, really great milk, we are using a little bit of cream. You can see here, I, I took a very thick cream because this at the end, will give us a fantastic flavor and a fantastic taste. Now, as you can see here, Ramadan already cut our uh, carrots into strips and show you what we will do with them. So we will take them into a small bowl. And at the same time, I'm starting here to stir my soup. Now, what we prepared here is the carrots, we are using them with a little bit of salt for seasoning. And we add some flour on it. Why we do the flour? Because we want to have some starch in it, which is binding the carrots perfectly. And then we are starting mix actually our carrots, as you can see here, with our pincette to make it actually very. Nice and mixed, okay? So you can see that here. I did this also a little bit before. So that the flour gets really close due to the humidity of the carrots. It's a perfect way how it stuck together. And this, we will pre-blanch. You can see that here in our preheated oil. that we have something really amazing at the end. You just have to be careful that you don't use too much of the carrots in one go in the oil. Otherwise your oil might cook over and we don't want to have this. Now here on the ingredients, you can see, we prepared some bread actually for the topping, which we will need later on. This is very, very important for us because we want to have as well some starch elements on top of the potatoes, which actually gives us a really crunchy appearance. Now, what we are doing, you can see here already, the carrots are well prepared and they go on really, really nice. Okay, so this is the idea behind it when we are doing the topping of our soup. Now, how and why we are doing all parallel. I wanna have actually the nutrition facts of all the products which we are using today in our final product. And this is which is really important. So now here, on our pot, flower pot here, we have some parsley, we have some coriander, we have some mint and estragon. And uh, I would like Ramadan actually to uh, take some of this and we will mix it together. And we will chop it fine because we need that later on for our bread as well. So the bread will be a little bit caramelized with garlic. 
because I think this is a very, very nice combination of what you can do here. You see, we are, we bought some fresh garlic and it, it smells really amazing because it's completely fresh. And this is something which is definitely different than regular garlic, which you are having dried from the shelves. You can see actually we have some nice onions. We need some onions later on for the garlic, which we will sort it then with the butter. So this is one of the scenes which is really important for us to be prepared. Now I'm taking the carrots out from the oil. I used actually sunflower oil. This is the most neutral oil which you can have in terms of flavors. You see it sticks very nice together and we will have a fantastic, fantastic golden color on this. Okay, so this is already prepared, which we will need for our soup. What I'm doing at the same time, I have here my celery, which is already prepared and I need a little bit of, of onions. Now, onions, I peel them that actually the, the, the shell has been removed, but you still have to strong. And this is so important because like this, all the onions, they stick together and stay together. And we are just cutting them actually, you can see here now in very fine cubes. Why I want to do that with fine cubes? Because I want definitely that this dish, first of all, tastes very nice. We don't want that actually the onions are over dominating. And very important, what I also like to do is, I like to use my onion really till the end that you have just a small, small piece left because sustainability and how to reduce food waste. You can see Ramadan on the other side, he is just cutting actually all our herbs together. And we are just preparing our next steps now for the next round. Ramadan, how is it going? Everything good? Doing fine? Super. Now I'm very happy. Okay. Very good. Add everything. So now, have a look in our soup. You can see how thick the soup is already getting. And this is exactly what I wanted to do. All the potatoes have enough starch, actually, to bind the soup itself. We don't need any additives, we don't need any starch, we don't need any cornstarch or flour. This goes as it's a natural product. And we try to be, I still would say, a little bit health conscious, despite we used as well some cream. Now, we have prepared here our onions, our celery and our mushrooms. So now I'm cutting our mushrooms into slices like this. And I do that on the same cutting board without cleaning it because this will go into one bowl and we can easily use all the flavors which we are needing later on for our soup. So, if you don't have mushrooms at home, you can do that with any kind of vegetables. You can do that with any product you wish to do that because I think this is really important. And at the same time, I think you have to have color, color contrast and flavor contrast. This flavor contrast, as Amul has such a wide spectrum of food, I think it is really amazing. And you can see that Amul is with us and it will always be. I'm just steering actually our soup a little bit. And now Ramadan, I think what we will do, we will use some of our kunafa. So I heat a little bit of oil in our pan and I will add the kunafa into our hot oil because I want to have it brown and crunchy, okay? It will take a little bit time and you don't have to wait too much. We take it out like this, as you can see here. We take a nice piece, we open it a little bit and trifle it nicely in our oil. We want it to be really, really nice prepared. And you can see that here, it's very, very long hairs of kunafa. And in the moment I'm doing a very interesting project, I have a friend, his name is Mohanad. He's a Saudi citizen, a very, very good friend. And we are creating for him a completely new concept of kunafa. And while I was doing this for the last seven days, I had the idea definitely to make this kunafa and to take the kunafa as well into my soup. What do you think about the idea doing a soup with kunafa, you think it's nice or? 
<laughs> and Ra Ramadan, actually, he was uh, doing uh, partially the development with me, and we had a lot of fun. And we had a lot of fun. So what we did here, in addition to this, you can see, I just pre cut the bread a little bit. What I want to do, I want to have a nice, crunchy, garlic butter uh, slice of bread with my soup. The soup is nearly ready. As you can see, I have it here. Look how thick it gets, how perfect. It's really amazing. And definitely in between, I will have a small taste. Mm. Wow, I would buy that. That's really amazing. So we go in production, Ramadan. Okay, now soup is nearly ready. You can see here with the kunafa, you have to be a little bit careful because kunafa is very thin. You can see that it looks like angel hairs. And this, they're going brown and brownish. And if you're not careful, blackish very fast. So you have to be very attentive and you take care that they not get too brown too fast. So you have to turn them continuously. Now, I would so say, what we do next, Ramadan, we do our mushrooms, okay? Now, our soup, you can see, is nearly done. We are nearly ready with it. So we take it aside for some seconds and put it only on this stove. So, excellent. Good, well done. Now, how we will do our soup? Our soup, we will blend it shortly before we need it to be served. And we will actually add our mushrooms and everything into it. So now we are nearly ready. You can see that. We take a little bit of butter. I pre-cut them a little bit here. The magic almond butter. You have to be careful that the pot is not too hot. You can see that it's, it's really perfectly from the temperature. Because if it's too hot, you will burn the butter. And we want to have a butter which is really a little bit golden brown. And we will just add a little bit of our garlic here. As you see, we pre-cut a little bit of this garlic. Okay, we add a little bit of this in here. Fantastic. Here you see the kunafa is nearly done. It's nearly perfectly set. So we are doing really, really well. And you can do that all aside. I think it's something really nice. It's, it's, it's a great dish and really nice to have. At the same time, I'm using here my onions and my celery. I put that in here. You can see that here. And we are just stirring it a little bit with our palate and the butter. When this is a little bit caramelized, we are doing excellent and we are doing great. Now what I'm doing, I take my kunafa. You can see that here. I prepared a little bit before, but it's exactly the same. I take it on top, I take it out from here so that we can actually pop it up and tap, tap up our soup in a little while. We take everything out of here. It's fantastic and well said. Why are we taking it actually in a paper? We want to drain, we want to drain all the oil. The oil has to be removed and we want it to be really dry and tasty. We will season the thing as well. And you can see it's in a very nice consistency. Okay. So here we go with our next round. I just put this a little bit aside. We will take this off. And here we are starting actually to work with our butter and with our nice garlic plus the celery. Good. Now, here you can see fantastic products which we have here. Now, what we are doing, we are taking into our kunafa pan, which we have still a little bit kunafa inside, our mushrooms. Now, these mushrooms here, we season them with a little bit of salt. As you can see, we take a little bit of chili flakes, a little bit of paprika powder. Very nice. And definitely a little bit of a seasoning mix, which is actually only five different herbs. And then we saute them nicely, like you can see in the pan. Here we have actually our celery. 
with the onions and garlic. And here we have our mushroom. Now we are doing this all together at the end because I think this will be a fantastic flavor. What we have. So Ramadan, our soup looks fantastic. Excellent. So what I would like you to do, you take the blender and you mix it now inside like this. Okay. So while Ramadan is blending our soup very, very nicely, I'm just showing you how we will mix actually our let's mix it nicely. Our mushrooms together here. We take it out. And what I'm doing now, I don't clean, I don't clean the pan. I want to have the pan like this for my bread. And you will see very soon why I'm doing it like this. I want to have actually the flavors which are still remaining in the pan on our bread. A common practice is that everything all around the world always gets washed and cleaned and washed and cleaned while the most of the flavors are still in the pan. Thank you very much. It looks like this. Excellent. And we are just going back here to do that like this. Now, okay. What I'm doing now, I take my bread, which we pre cut before. We take three, four slices, whatever we have. We take it in here and we just keep it on slow heat now. And I want to take a little bit, a little bit of a very, very nice truffle oil here, just for the flavor. You can see that just some drops because this is very intense. You can see that here, truffle oil. And we are just taking it now upside down which is really amazing. You can see how gold brown my bread is coming. It will be not burned. It will be not actually overdone. It's simply perfectly to be roasted. Okay. So we have this done. And what I want to do, of course, on top, we are adding a little bit of our mixed greens because we want to have a fantastic flavor in it. We take a little bit of our chili flakes, which is okay. And a little bit of our sea salt so now our bread is done our mushrooms are perfectly set you can see that so now we are switching off here this one because we don't need that anymore you can see and we just cover it a little bit like this okay now coming to our soup now our soup is a little bit thick and what we are adding at the end we are adding some more of the amul gold milk because as i said we want to have something fantastic to taste. And this is only possible with excellent products. We need good products all around the world, healthy products. And this is what I believe in. Any good chef, any chef around the world should make sure sustainability, supporting the local society as well, and buying from the local market. I think this is very essential because at the end, if we are not doing this, we are always facing difficulties with having actually our industry well set. Okay, so this is finished now. You can see that here. We leave this here, done. Topping, the topping, our bread and our soup. Look at the soup. What I want to have in this soup, I don't want to have everything pureed completely because the most important thing for me is that you are having a soup, a consistency, which is really showing you used fresh potatoes, not potato powder and anything like that. Ramadan, can you get us a plate, please? So now we have here a plate, which is quite big, but I wanna have a nice presentation on the plate. So we will remove our cutting board now. Please, thank you so much. And we leave our bowl over here. Now, what I'm doing now, and I want to do that in a very, very funny and nice way. We are dishing our soup today in a way how my grandmother would do that. Because since I'm a two-year-old child, I always was in the kitchen with my granny. And my grandmother, when she made a soup, she always did it like this. It's really interesting. She never used the ladle for it. Well, we have everything here. And you can see 
something really, really nice and amazing. We have our soup here now. The next thing what we do, Ramadan, is we are taking our bread on top, which I think it's super yummy. You can have this here. And I take three pieces because I want you to really enjoy what we are doing today. After this, I'm using my mushrooms. These mushrooms, you can see, are really very, very nice. We take the mushrooms on top in a simple way that it comes really, really delicious. What do you think, Ramadan? How does it look? It's thing nice, huh? Yeah, it's coming. Now, of course, we don't forget what we have done here before. We take our carrot sticks on top, as you can see that, nicely around, because we want to have actually a crunch on the soup, as you can see here. The crunch is on. And then we're coming to our kunafa. Now the kunafa goes on top of the soup, like it looks like a little bit of a straw. You can see that here. Okay? Now, soup is dished. Soup is ready. But for me, I want to have a special highlight. This is something which is really unique. It is pumpkin seeds oil, which comes from special regions in Europe. It's a very dark black intense oil. And this oil gives a fantastic flavor. And what I'm doing, I'm taking this with my pumps right here. You can see that. And we're just pumping actually the drops on here. Basically this bottle has been created by my friend, especially also for me which is actually even for ladies, they can have it in three sizes in a nice clutch and it goes with all the different flavors of aromas and oils from around the world. And last but not least, what we will do, we will take our pincet, we will take a piece of the estragon on top, which I think it's something really amazing. And now you see, you have a fantastic soup, which goes excellent for everyone at home. It is quite cheap to cook. It is very, very tasty. And I believe if you are following this recipe, you will have a lot of fun and as well success at home. So from my side, I just can say, Ramadan, come here. I wanna say thank you very, very much, first of all, to, to Ramadan to assist me today. Uh, secondly, I wanna wish you all a very, very safe time and that COVID, the pandemic is not letting you stop your ambitious and especially your, I would say, positive thinking. I'm just telling you, I'm wearing a gray jacket today, but believe in the power of the white jacket. Always go for chefing and explore and follow your dreams and your visions. And I'm wishing you from the bottom of my heart, all stay safe, stay healthy. It's fantastic to work with Amul all around the world. And I want to say, Thank you so much for all you're doing. It's really great. It's amazing. Stay safe and healthy. All the best and see you soon.